Hello, my friends. I talk Washington too. What's up? I am Carcamo the Forger of Pain. And today, we're gonna see a Colombian that fooled the entire world. A little bit more about that infamous, or should I say, famous game called Pal World. And Grand Theft Auto San Andreas makes a comeback, but not the way you think. This is Carca News. This Colombian animator stated that she worked in Studio Ghibli. Yes, the same ones that brought us awesome movies like My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away. She was working there since October from last year, and she was invited to give out speeches and press conference in her town, her country, Colombia. Apart from that, she made headlines on their most significant newspapers. She worked on the recent movie that won a Golden Globe, The Boy and the Hero. She claims that she worked on animation in the first 15 minutes of the movie, but not only that, she worked roughly, you know, give or take, in over 52,000 frames of animation. And guess what? all was a lie we were all duped bamboozled and i don't know in what world are we living right now because how can you do this with the internet and it is so easy to look for the information she wasn't even in the credits and i guess you could pull this off maybe like 20 years ago obviously a lot of internets did some digging and then feeding how to do a lot of research. They found out almost immediately that it wasn't true. Apart from that, and this is something that, I mean, you could consider funny or not, but she did like a tutorial in how to animate and she grabbed a little note and started drawing circles. And it's basically what you did when you were bored in school that you draw like stick figures and you animate it like that because technically that's animation. But it wasn't a stick figure, it just was a circle. And the other thing, the man himself, according to her, Hayao Miyazaki, called her the Colombian. That he took her under his wing. Imagine that, the Colombian this, the Colombian that, the man himself. But, you know, it's a lie. We should have seen it coming. But I guess we did it. Pal World, an action-adventure survival game, arrived on January 19. Developed by Pocket Pair, they described the game as Pokemon with guns. You can't get more American than that. This game obviously has an inspiration with the Pocket Monsters. Pokemon and this game sold 8 million copies in just 6 days. Almost a week if you're not keeping track. So, this game is awesome. It's getting great reviews from all over the place. And guess what? This proves that Nintendo, they've been some lazy asses. Because basically, this is Pokemon with next-gen graphics, and you can do more than catching Pokemon. Like I said, it has some survival elements, action, and of course, adventure. And guess what? Just in five days, it got modded by a guy named Toasted Shoes, and he did a Pokemon mod, where he replaced the pals with the pocket monsters, and it looks awesome! And I know what you're wondering. What about Nintendo? Well, technically, to the publication of this video, Nintendo hasn't done a cease and desist. But trust me, it's coming. And not to the game developers themselves, but to Toasted Shoes, the modder. So, Toasted Shoes posted a trailer 
for the mod in PAL world. And he had a copy strike. Of course, why not? What were you expecting from our guys, our friends at Nintendo with their insecurities? Obviously, they are in the legal right to do it because they're protecting their intellectual properties. But come on, be like Sega. You know, help a guy out, will you? You know what is worse than Nintendo? The Pokemon fans! Because they're giving death threats. Yes, death threats to the developers and the team of Pocket Pair. And you know, obviously they're a little bit scared. I mean, they, they have to because, you know, people sometimes they take their games a little too serious. Um, I'll give updates if something happens, but just if you can download the mod. Oh, and I must say that, you know, I don't want to be a jackass, but Toasted Shoes, when you make a mod, it's supposed to be free. And he has this mod behind a paywall. You have to be part of his Patreon. So he is making money for this mod. That's, that's fucked up, man. You can't sell a mod unless you're Bethesda I guess GTA Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is now today in this very moment in the world popular right now but like I said before not because of the reasons you think actually a modder called J16D did a mod with I mean not with but inspired in Marvel's Insomniac Spider-Man. Yes, that's right. And you can do a lot of things that you couldn't do in GTA San Andreas, like carjacking. And it's just like Spider-Man from Insomniac. Like you could do the little thing when he gets on the rooftop of the car and it's awesome. Apart from that, there's a lot of skins just like in that game. And guess what? The web swinging. The awesome web swinging. You can do that in GTA San Andreas. This is on the PS, uh, I was gonna say PS, PC port of the game. So if you're interested, there you go. I wanna thank you all for watching Karka News. This is Karkamo. Remember, like or die.